guys keep it going for Caitlin. Oh, I'm so scared of her dad. Oh, chilled to the bone. Hi, how's everyone doing? Thank you so much for coming out. Oh, I love where we are in COVID now, where it's like people are still dying, but we're like, oh, we've had enough of it. We don't care anymore. <laughs> keep it to yourself, you know. I, uh, I'm really sad about some of the things we lost in COVID, you know, not people, uh, but uh, <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> I'm sad we're not shaking hands anymore because I've got like a really good handshake. Um, you know, so now when I meet people, I just cough directly into their mouths. <laughs> so it's like, well, hey, if we're going to give each other COVID, let's just get out of the way right up top, you know? Uh, I don't know about you guys, but after losing uh, two years of my life, I'm kind of up for whatever, you know? I no longer have a bucket list. I have everyone's bucket list. I'm like, I'll fucking do whatever. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> I was at this dinner party recently. I hate cigars, by the way. I know I'm not so supposed to say that, uh, but I hate cigars. And I was at a table full of guys, and this uh, somebody lit up a cigar. They started passing it around the table, and it gets to the guy next to me. I was like, fuck it, I'm smoking a cigar. I <coughs> snatched it from him. I was like, how do you smoke this? <laughs> he was trying to be funny. He's like, you can just suck it like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, bet. Shoved the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> started crying. I was like, is this what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Am I doing it right? <laughs> now there's two things I don't do well. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> I adopted a dog during lockdown. Anyone else do that? No one. Wow. No good people here. Not a single good person. Does anyone even have a dog? Okay, well, at least there's that. Fuck. <laughs> it was just like, here's the thing. I wanted a dog for years, and then life just got so hard during lockdown that I was like, you know what would fix this? Three bags of hot shit a day. <laughs> 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 and it did. That's how bad things were. <laughs> that picking up dog shit markedly improved my life. <laughs> it's like, it's better now. <laughs> I, I live in Los Angeles. And everyone there is kind of a dog cop. People stop me on the street. They're like, excuse me, did you rescue? Did you rescue? They ask my dog. They're like, were you a rescue? <laughs> <laughs> Blink twice, it's not like this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, if by rescue you mean gave someone too much money for something they found in the street, then yeah. <laughs> I rescued, okay? <laughs> like the whole deal with street shit is it's supposed to be free. Yet these people gave me a wild animal covered in bugs they found in a dish, and I was like, how's $500? Will that do it? <laughs> the place I got her from, too, they had the audacity to tell me. They're like, you know, we got her all the way from <laughs> Tijuana. <laughs> I was like, you mean for a two-hour drive I could have saved $500? <laughs> Don't tell me that, okay? I'm like, shit, she had siblings. I could have made three grand. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I talked to her in a baby voice. Before I got a dog, I was like, I will never talk to a dog in a baby voice. I'm a serious person. I am an adult. Now I don't even speak English anymore. <laughs> All day I'm like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> like we get up in the morning and I'm like, want to get a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> like somebody's watching my dog now. My dog's probably like, what the fuck are you saying? I don't understand <laughs> this language. <laughs> It started to bleed into the rest of my life, too. Uh, I was seeing this guy recently, and we woke up together at his house, and I rolled over, and I go, good morning. <laughs> 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 and he was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, <clears throat> uh, good morning. Good morning. I just... A little frog in my throat <laughs> this morning. <laughs> I definitely didn't think you were my dog. Like, there's no chance I almost called you Luna. Like, not a chance, for sure. I promise. <laughs> in my defense, he's pretty short. Uh, <laughs> I got a long dog. I got a big dog. <laughs> you guys ever fuck in front of your pets? <laughs> Let me tell you, the last crowd, somebody was like, yeah, and I'm like, too enthusiastic. <laughs> I meant on accident, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I was <laughs> hooking up with this guy recently and um, we had the door open, we were outside and <laughs> we were indoors, guys, sorry. Like that was, <laughs> some of you were like, uh-huh. <laughs> 
we had the door open and uh, after a little while I noticed my dog had walked in because I was looking around I was bored you know <laughs> I was like this isn't really doing anything for me and uh, I, I just like looked at my dog a little too long right and she made eye contact and locked eyes and I was like she'll probably leave and she was like what's up mom what do you need she just came right over <laughs> right over to the bed just put her little head on the end of the bed <laughs> just an inch from my face can I help you mom <laughs> And I did. I let her watch for a second because I was like, "All right, well, you need to learn, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> what not to do." <laughs> and then I was like, "Hey, guy, we gotta we gotta take a time out. I gotta let my dog out of the room. You know, this is weird." <laughs> and this guy goes, "All right, the lights are off." <laughs> I was like, "My, <laughs> my guy, it's a dog." <laughs> okay. <laughs> She has night vision, all right? It's practically a Marine sitting in the corner <laughs> watching us. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm gonna let her out of the room, unless maybe that's your thing, in which case, this can't work anyway, you know? <laughs> it's me or my dog. <laughs> Too weird. I have really good health insurance right now. That's just a brag. <laughs> Ooh, I have health care. I'm part of the 1% for another month, and then my health insurance runs out. Anyone else got health care here? Like, statistically, three of you, right? Um, <laughs> here's the thing. I really, I truly, I believe this with from the bottom of my heart. I think uh, until we all have health care, I think every government building should be on fire. Like, <laughs> and I would do it myself, but I don't want to go to prison. You know, it just seems like bad vibes. <laughs> Not for me. But if you guys do it, I'll babysit for you. <laughs> I should also probably stop saying this out loud, <laughs> but I mean it. Uh, <laughs> we should all have health care. I hate the arguments against health care. I hate, you know, when politicians say stupid shit like, well, you know, the beautiful thing about our system is like, you can choose your doctor. The way we have it now, you can choose your doctor. You can't make it to the doctor, but forget that. You can choose your doctor. <laughs> it's like, hey, guy, it's not that serious. It's not the NBA draft, okay? I found my gynecologist and yelp, I go to my dentist because he's hot. That's it. That's all of it. <laughs> I don't even know if he's a good dentist. He's just in there picking away at whatever, talking about his motorcycle. I'm like, all right, I'll be back next week, and I got another cavity for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, got something for you to fill right up. <laughs> <laughs> the other argument I hate is that we can't afford it. Makes me so, I'm, I'm just mad. I'm just mad. That's not even a bit. I'm mad. Like, here's, here's we're paying for politicians' health care. Here's how good their health care is, regardless of what side of anything you're on. Do you guys remember that, maybe you don't. This is really niche. Do you remember a handful of months ago, there was a picture of Mitch McConnell, and he's standing there with a bunch of people, and his hands were black. You guys remember this? Okay, a couple people are nodding for the recording. I don't know if you can hear people's heads <laughs> rattling. <laughs> His hands were fucking black, like he had survived a car fire, okay? <laughs> He's still alive. That's how good his health care is. He turned to petrified wood before our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still an alive man, <laughs> okay? And these people have the audacity to turn around and be like, well, we can't afford to give you guys health care. We just spent $3 trillion on Space Force. Are you kidding me? That's a real thing. And that's not something I read like in the New York Times. That's something I saw on a government website because I'm on there all day tracking my tax dollars like a parent who's lost custody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where did it go? Show me the money. <laughs> Losing my mind. I've turned into my father. <laughs> it's alarming. <laughs> $3 trillion. You know, right now we are, we are currently, today, what, today's Friday? Today, Friday, we are training 15,000 troops for Space Force. That's a real thing the United States is doing. 15,000. There are not. I, listen, I am a support the troops person. I perform for the troops. My whole life I've been like, yeah, rah, rah, U.S. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and I am here to tell you, there are not 15,000 people in this country smart enough to go into space. There are just <laughs> not. Have you seen people? There's not 15,000 people that know how to fucking check out at the grocery store, okay? <laughs> there are not 15,000 people that could convincingly play an astronaut in a movie. <laughs> There's maybe two, like Sandra Bullock, and I'm just gonna say someone else probably, okay? Just the odds. <laughs> 15,000. 
Are we looking for aliens? Is that what we're doing out there? They're here on earth. <laughs> they are amongst us again. Have you seen people? Have you seen people around you? <laughs> Here's how you identify them. It's people in their like 30s, 40s, don't know how to be a person, okay? <laughs> We've all seen them. Here's one way. You're on an elevator, right? It gets to your floor, the door is open. Your whole body language is like, I'm stepping out, and you go to come out, but people come in first. <laughs> Those are aliens. <laughs> Those are not people. You cannot convince me. You've been alive for 40, 50 fucking years, and you don't know I come out first? <laughs> is this your first time on an elevator? I don't think so. When your plane lands, and the guy in the back row is the first to stand up, <laughs> just like this for 40 minutes. <laughs> so relieved, like, oh. God, it feels so good. <laughs> My favorite is when they're hunched over and then they also put an arm up on the vet. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> what are you doing? This isn't even yoga, man. <laughs> it's not a person. <laughs> that's somebody, that's a being standing there thinking, shit, I would fly over them, but then they would know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Any man with a backpack, alien. <laughs> For real, here's the thing. Like women, we all have like 10 different purses five different, per whatever, you know, they're all different shapes and sizes. I brought one tonight, it goes across my body. So I put it on, I'm like, boom, no my new circumference. You know, I'm not bumping into shit. It hits nothing. <laughs> nothing but net here. A man puts on a backpack and all of a sudden he's like, whoa, where's my body? <laughs> Just so disoriented, tumbling around knocking shit over 100% of the time. I've been on a train and it can't go because the doors won't close. <laughs> There's a man standing in the doorway <laughs> with just like his backpack between the doors. <laughs> Always so indignant too, standing there like, oh, oh what's the hold up? <laughs> <laughs> a step forward, sir. <laughs> <sighs> My name is Lisa Curry. You guys caught that up top. I'm sure you've like had it tattooed onto your body by now. <laughs> Definitely committed to memory. Um, here's the thing, being a comedian and somebody that needs constant attention, uh <laughs> I have to be on all social media all the time. And uh, the problem with that is there's a billion women on earth named Lisa Curry. I don't know what is going on out there. There's 15 of them here tonight. I just, I can feel it, you know? Like I know they're here. <laughs> So that means I can't get my name on any social media. Whenever I try to sign up, it's like, did you want to do Lisa Curry, one, two, three, four, five? <laughs> no, that's insane. That's my mom's name. Uh, <laughs> and to make matters worse, there's an Olympic gold medalist in Australia named Lisa Curry. And she's been famous since like the 70s. So she took our name <laughs> on all social media. So I was like, you know what, fuck you. I'm taking Olympian, Lisa Curry. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my name on Venmo, on TikTok, on Instagram. <laughs> it's everywhere. I actually, I follow her on Instagram. I try to be the first to fave her post. I'm like, Lisa Curry, Lisa Curry. <laughs> I, I asked her to do my Sirius XM show. I reached out to her PR person and she was like, no, I mean, she doesn't have anything going on in the US. I'm like, right, but we're both Lisa Curry. Do you understand? I'm like, I need her to be on my show so I can get some fucking press for once. <laughs> also, she has 15 medals. Seven of them are gold medals. I can't believe she didn't take Olympian. If I had four medals, I'd be wearing them right now. If I had 15 medals, I'd be wearing them all right now if it meant that Caitlin had to push me up here in a fucking wheelbarrow. Do you understand? <laughs> 
I have all of my childhood trophies are proudly displayed behind my desk so people can see them in Zoom meetings. You know one of them is a second place Polish princess? Not even first place. <laughs> not even something respectable. Second place Polish princess. And I'm like, look at that on Zoom meetings. And people are like, what's that? I'm like, oh, <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> I learned to dance for that. Anyway, I need you guys to follow me on, uh, on Instagram at Olympian Lisa Curry so I can bump her out of the top spot and finally get some fucking respect. Um, <laughs> that's it for me. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Keep it going for Olympian Lisa Curry. Hell yeah. So you guys ready for your next comic? 